Hello dreamers, welcome back to my channel. I know you missed me, <laughs> but I had a lot of work and a little time to develop new projects here on YouTube. But finally, here we are for a new fantastic and above all useful tutorial that we will do today. I haven't forgotten about the Assassin's Creed project, which I will resume in the next few weeks and finish explaining to you in detail how I completed that project. But before going back to that short, there is a very important thing that I want to explain to you in today's video, and that is the camera shake, a method that I often use in my movies to make the action more dynamic. In this sequence you can see very well these movements that the camera makes. When an explosion happens on the screen, for example, as you can see, there are vibrations that make it appear more dramatic. There are different types of camera shake that I will explain to you in detail with examples. And here on Dreams I can create them in two different ways, with the Move and Scale tool. With the Performance tool if, for example, we want more random movements. Or by setting the coordinates values if we have to be precise on the camera shake as to happen at a precise moment. Before continuing with the new tutorial, I thank you for the continued support and if you have any doubts, write me in the comments. Or if you want to ask me anything else about this wonderful world of animation, I'm here to help you. I invite you to watch the video until the end, if you are obviously interested, to like and subscribe to the channel, it doesn't cost you anything, for me it's important to continue this journey together. As I was saying at the beginning, in today's video we see the camera shakes. In your opinion, is something missing in this scene? I think so, otherwise I wouldn't be here. <laughs> the first example I wanted to show you is very simple. But even a very simple scene like this, we can make it more effective with a very simple camera movement or better still with a camera shake. As if by magic I add the camera movement and the sequence changes dynamics completely. This is probably the simplest camera shake we can come across and it involves bouncing everything that happens on the screen up and down. But as we will see shortly, the direction of the movement is very important because it must follow the action that happens in our film to give the right dynamism to the scene. In this case the camera will make a rapid movement upwards to make us better feel the rebound sensation that describes the sequence. But how can we do something like this and above all what is the correct timing? First thing is that all the elements of your scene are within a single large group, both the background and the characters. For the correct functioning of the camera shake everything must move. As I said before, to create this movement we use the Move and Scale tool. To help you to understand the movement better, I'm going to add this border that will help you better appreciate the camera movement and especially the direction. The movement will be from bottom to top. Ok, let's expand the movement coordinates of the entire group. We will only have to change the value of Y to obtain this camera shake. For a perfect camera shake it's very important to set the starting value, in this case very close to the contact of the ball with the ground. At this point the camera is still with the Y value at zero. The movement must be fast. At the next keyframe I set the camera shake and in this case I move the group upwards. As you can see from the red border everything moves upwards. In the next keyframe the camera must return to position, the value of Y then will return to zero. The last value is farther along in the timeline, the camera movement to return to its original position must be slower. 
Another important factor as a smooth movement is setting the right trend curve. In this case, therefore, gradual in and out. If you haven't seen it, I recommend you watch my tutorial on trend curves. But why in this case the camera movement goes from bottom to top and not from left to right, for example? Let's try to set a lateral movement in the same keyframes and see how the scene behaves. I delete the value of Y axis for the moment and I move the group to the right and see what happens. Both in the first and the second bones. Here we try to set on the left. Ok. The result is not bad, but as you can see the camera shake seems uncoordinated with the movement of the ball. For every movement that happens inside our scene, we have to study the right direction of the camera. Imagining that your eyes are the camera, your gaze follows the ball, with a movement from top to bottom. What I will have to do to get the right camera shake will be to make the camera do the opposite movement from bottom to top. What you need to remember for a good camera shake like this First of all, the right timing, the movement comes when the ball hits the ground, with a very fast entry. It's a return phase, the original position slower. And to decide the correct movement, in which direction would your gaze go in such a situation? How do you, your eyes, follow the action? This is just one situation we have created, but obviously there are many other situations where you can use this type of movement. This is one of those. Obviously the possibility of moving the camera up, down, right and left is not the only solution, as in this case. To make the action more dynamic, in this scene there is a random movement of the camera first of all. To obtain this movement I just use the performance mode. With the move and scale tool I move the camera in this way. The movement we are going to do to make a good camera shake like this will be quite fast and for the whole duration of the sequence. As you can see with the random movement the action is more dynamic and in a scene like this where I want to make the viewer feel the speed, moving the camera in this way is very useful. But this is not enough. I want to add another camera shake when the car disappears behind the camera. Having already worked on the X and Y axis, here to make this movement I still have the rotation available, which allows me to move the entire group regardless of what I performed before. But how to do it? If now we have worked on the X and Y axis in performance mode, now as I was telling you I'm going to move on the rotation. When the car disappears behind the camera, I want this rotation movement, as if the cameraman was momentarily stunned by the arrival of the police. As before, for the ball bounce, I had some keyframes, in this case of rotation, at the point where the car is about to disappear. Even in this case the movement is very fast, to obtain a very dynamic camera shake. Being able to work independently on the coordinates and rotation gives us the ability to have more complex camera animations that make our projects much more interesting. Start with a rotation angle of 0, immediately in the next keyframe an angle of 7 degrees, as you can see the angle has a low gradation, the next most distant keyframe with an opposite rotation, and in the last one return with an angle of 0. To recap, in cases like this, if you have already added a random camera shake inside your scene, we can work independently on the rotation, adding additional movement where we need it. We have seen a camera shake that we can create by moving our scenes on the X and Y axis and also by rotating. Once you have become familiar with this system, you will be able to apply it in a much more complex way within your movies. This short film is a perfect example where there are all these methods that we have seen of camera movement and in some cases, as we will see, they are mixed together. 
The vibrations given by the explosions allow me to insert many shakes one after the other to create a very dynamic effect that enhances the drama of the sequence. But let's go and see them in detail. In the first part the spaceship appears from the left very quickly. Here I added the lateral camera shake so the whole scene moves quickly to the one side. Even if there is no air in the space, <laughs> there is a kind of movement of air to emphasize the movement. In the instant after, the first explosion and move the camera from bottom to top. All this happens with the continuous movement of the camera that tries to follow the movements of the ship. If you haven't seen it, I recommend you recover my tutorial on camera movements. There is another explosion in the background with another lateral movement of the camera. In the next phase, I combined the X and Y movements for a more pronounced effect. First keyframe of movement on the X axis must however be very fast and therefore immediately following the calm phase. As you can see, on the Y axis I added the keyframe farther, on to move the scene a little bit down. With this mix, a more complex camera shake is created. With the explosion closer to the viewer, I wanted to emphasize the drama of the moment and the result is perfect. After that, I did something similar, but this time I combined the movement on X with the rotation, obtain a camera shake that was still effective, but different, to vary the animations that follow one after the other. In the last part, the spaceship gets even closer to the viewer. The power of the propulsion makes the entire scene vibrate. In this case, I used the performance mode. This instrument is very sensitive to the movements we record, and with a little practice, you can obtain very interesting effects. Finally, with the final push that makes the ship disappear, a quick rotation movement to add the finishing touch to the scene. Before we say goodbye, I wanted to tell you that there are many ways in which we can apply this method to make our projects more beautiful and dynamic, such as animating a logo. In this case, to emphasize the arrival of the fire, I added a bit of camera shake. It makes everything more alive. What do you think? Learn to exploit this tool in your project. You will have to do some practice, especially to add it with the right timing and in the right direction. But I'm sure it will be very useful to give a cinematic touch to your movies. Well, dreamers, we have reached the end of another fantastic tutorial. I'm sure it will be very useful for you to use Camera Shake in your projects. If you don't know them, I hope it was easy for you to understand how they work. Now the practice is up to you. As always, I invite you to write to me in the comments if something is not clear, or if you have other ideas on the subject. Thank you so much for watching, and...